Yo, what's up everyone? Daniel Yuck with Daniel Yuck Tattoos. Thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate you all. I want to go ahead and bring you all a review on the CNC Q2 short pin tattoo machine. I want to go ahead and keep the same approach as I did on the CNC XWE review where I really didn't talk about the specs that you can read on the website. I more so showed you all why I like this machine and talked about it and showed you all the specifics on the machine itself. You know, I kind of put it, this video in a position to where if you don't own this machine, maybe we can shed more insight by talking about the machine itself rather than the specs. So we're gonna keep that same approach. As you can see right here, this is a wrapped CNC Q2. This is a non-wrapped one. I wanted to have kind of a variation of both to show you all. I will make another video on how to wrap it, which is very, very simple and straightforward. So stay tuned for that. But for now, as you can see, we have a non-wrapped one and a wrapped one. These are the exact same setups. This is a short pin CNC Q2 with the exact same battery here. And to assemble, it's very, very simple. As you can see up here, you have an RCA. And here is a body of the machine. Let's go ahead and show you all that. I'm gonna go ahead and spin it a couple of times for you all. Now, it is a very beautiful machine. Ever since I got this machine, I was in love. The reason why I love this machine here is because it's very, very user friendly. Now it is powerful enough for a full blown professional, yet it is easy enough to like disassemble, clean, sanitize for a beginner. Now this is a machine for any caliber tattooist in my opinion. There is no, you know, beginner or advanced. This one is a kind of one size fits all type of machine. Not to mention, it does come with a 3.5 millimeter stroke. I know I didn't want to like touch base on the specifics, but I also want to point out it does have, if I'm correct, a 3.5 millimeter stroke, which makes this great for lining and shading. I've even packed color with this just fine. So this is on its own a workhorse of a machine. So if you're looking to do like heavy black and gray work, this one's for you. If you're looking to do like heavy line work, this one's for you. If you're gonna be doing a lot of like realism and shading, this one's also for you. If you're gonna be doing color, I feel this one is for you. This one should be like in everyone's arsenal, in my opinion, this little guy right here. Um, let's just go ahead and show you all. So if I turn it this way, we're gonna go ahead as you can see, it starts loosening the body here. And this is basically the grip that you would wanna sterilize. So what I do is I go ahead and I pull that out, clean this with alcohol wipes, you know, alcohol. And then I do the same thing over here, but you would want to, this part right here, this is where the motor is at. So you can go ahead and unscrew it. And see the motor. It is a beautiful motor. Again, it's Fall Harbor. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, so don't quote me, but here is the housing. Here's the housing and here is the grip. These are super, super easy to clean up. Um, they're very, very easy to maintain. That's why I love this machine because it comes apart in, let me put this over here, into three separate pieces. Once you're done with the tattoo, your client leaves, whatever, you go ahead and break it down, clean this with your alcohol wipes, you know, re-lube it up and kind of reassemble it back together. And it's again, a very, very straightforward process. Um, it's not too, too hard at all. There's really nothing to it need a little bit of patience to kind of drop the rod in there correctly so that way you don't want to miss a line or ruin any of the components for the motor and i think if you're patient enough um, everything will work out fine for you again this machine is a very very good machine i've had nothing i've have nothing but good things to say about it let me get this on there as you can see I'm just screwing the motor back in not too too tight and the same thing with this you can go ahead and Plug this back on and turn it. And again, I have nothing but great things to say about this machine. It is a flawless machine. Let me actually go ahead and load up a cart in here. Here's a 15 round mag. Let's go ahead and turn it on. I wanna go ahead and kind of let you all hear it. In a bit here, I can go ahead and cut to a video that I would like to show you all basically the performance of this machine. So we'll go ahead and get to that. As you can see, it's pushing a mag 
no problem at all. We were at 6.3 volts. This is a 15 round mag, as you can see. And we're pushing that no problem. There's just no, you can even go lower and it'll push it. No issues. Pushing beautifully, sounds beautiful, feels beautiful. Again, I'm a big, big fan of this machine here. I have nothing but good things to say about this machine right here. Um, all the way from wrapping to using um, to maintaining, it is a flawless machine and I highly, highly, highly recommend it to any and everyone who needs a stable machine or to pick up a pair, I highly recommend it. What I would like to go ahead and do is kind of touch base, you know, um, on the performance side and show you all how it works. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna switch over to a time-lapse video where I am doing a tattoo. Uh, let me show you all here, bear with me. I did this tattoo right here with the CNC Q2. As you can see, the lines are very, very clean. Uh, this right here is a 13 round shader. We have an 11 round liner, and then this one's gonna be a seven round liner. I was kind of experimenting between the different, you know, uh, needle sizes and stuff, but that's what this is. We're here, a 13 round shader, and then I kind of went around there and outlined that as well. But as you can see, the short pin did flawless. I'll go ahead and switch over to the time lapse where it shows me uh, doing this tattoo, and then we'll go ahead and come back here. As you all can see, I just did this tattoo with this very machine, the CNC Q2 short pin tattoo machine. I have nothing but great things to say about this machine. I highly recommend it to any tattooist of any caliber. It is always good to have it in your arsenal. This is just a powerful machine. It's a, you know, workhorse. Um, again, I have nothing but great things to say. As you can see, this tattoo came out very, very nice. Let me go ahead and see if I can show the lines up close here. So as you can see, everything is very clean, saturated, and it's just a great tattoo. I was experimenting with a 13 round shader at that bottom rose, as opposed to these right here, just kind of experimenting with different needle sizes and what the looks look like. But as you all can see, this machine, again, I have nothing but great things to say about it. I highly recommend this machine to any tattooist of any caliber. It is a workhorse. It is one of my go-tos. I've been using the CNC XWE lately, but this is my go-to machine right here if you have any questions by all means please feel free to drop them in the comments down below and i'll do my best to guide you in the best possible direction if you're not be sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this i appreciate you tuning in don't forget to follow me on facebook instagram and twitter as well yet again i appreciate your support thank you for tuning in y'all have a great day